So where are we, Dustovi and Dave? Somewhere in Whitworth. Maybe. Somewhere in Whitworth. Go oh. down the side of a hedge, apparently. Side of a hedge. What will we find down the side of the hedge? The hedge. <gasps> They're all trying to stay safe, so they're actually holding the con outside. And what a jolly good idea. Generally, I would say. There we go, so safety. Uh, there we go at the fore. We're all being tested as we go in. Possibly the cleanest I've been on a LARP site. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I do. I, I, I am a big fan of this outdoor thing. This is like an actual medieval marketplace. I really like it. I approve. Who am I? Can I approve? Yeah, I'm going to approve anyway. I definitely approve. <laughs> oh. There we go. So you can you can buy mail if you want. How, how much is mail to buy? <laughs> this, there's a ballpark um, figure. So as a as a shirt made up, so yeah. it usually starts about three hundred pounds. There we go. And um, the, but if you wanted to buy enough rings to make a shirt, there you go. About one hundred and fifty. So there you go. So it so it can, it shows you how much effort goes into making them as well. The time. Sitting by the fire or the telly, yeah. one ring by one ring, and that's, sitting, in, sitting in the armchair. Absolutely. Yeah. And so how does it, how is it put together? So it's a four in one weave. So what you do is for every one, every four rings you've got closed, you open a ring and you knit them together. Wow. And you knit it together in rows. Wow. And how do, do they clip together or are they, is there like a punch or a bolt or? So uh, the rings we have are butted, so they overlap slightly like that. You open them and then you close them and because they're slightly over, they push together when they're closed. Um, wow. Historically, they would have been riveted together. Of course. So you would hammer, hammer them flat. You get a small spike. You pin a, a hole into the ring, and you put a tiny rivet in, and you rivet them together. Wonderful. And you do that for every single ring. Wow. So there you go. That's that's the time. So uh, and, and you can make your own, and that'd be 150 quid instead if you've got the time. Do you know, I can imagine it'd be quite therapeutic. Yeah. In its own way too. Protection in a medieval and fantasy setting are very important. <laughs> Here we have the heaviest of armour. <laughs> Marvellous stuff. Some of the stuff is kind of leaning towards sort of dancers and things ah, like that. And yes. the more sort of magical. Yeah. Kind Absolutely. You say so the magical yeah. chain at the end there as well. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, performance as well as uh, yeah, 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 hard laughing and stuff like that. Brilliant. Yeah, really Great people buy things for sort of clubbing and festivals as well so you know but things like the belts and yeah, stuff like that are really I try and make every, most things as sort of unisex as possible yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but obviously so I'm a woman so oh, well, quite right absolutely absolutely <laughs> It's like a wavy blade. Ooh. Some of these, some of these swords are very realistic, and then some of them are just artistic expressions, like the one that uh, Dastovian's got there. Look at that, beautiful. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty mighty. Now, I, I say I, I do a very small, insignificant YouTube channel, and not everyone on the YouTube channel knows about this. So, what is that made of? Foam. It's made of foam and rubber. That yeah. is amazing. God, you could, you got, go, you give me, give me a quick, you know, you, you can smack. Oh, go on. Smack, look, see, look, look. Squid, that is amazing, isn't it? And what's in the middle of it? Uh, it's got a fiberglass rod uh, for the handle. There we go. So that's running like, like there, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. To hold it together. Uh, and it's got like a reinforcement in there uh, to keep it. In. So you basically, it's like a sandwich. So you've got one middle layer of foam. Brilliant. You've got a rod in there. Yeah. So core in there. That's then reinforced, and then you've got two rounds of there to foam, and then you've got all the detailing. Amazing. And how, how long does it take to make one of these? It depends on the shield. Yeah? Um, some shields you can put together really quickly, you can basically build in a day. Um, others might take a couple of days, but we, we generally tend to maybe do like build a whole bunch of shields in a week. Um, the, the latexing, so we spray the liquid latex. There you off. go. And you mix that with paint to make the yeah, beautiful so colours? Wonderful. Um, that can take a while because you, you basically have like three or four base coats, then you put the colour over the top, 
obviously the more colours you have on, the longer it takes, you could add, add to details. And then we basically um, cover it with Isoflex Special Primer, which is a horrible, horrible poison. <laughs> it's, it's horrible, uh, yeah. You have to wear masks and stuff and use yeah, it, don't you? Well, we've got an industrial extractor and yeah. we wear masks. Uh, masks so you keep yourself safe. Yeah. It, it is horrible stuff if you do not treat it right. Absolutely. But it, is, it is the best thing for the durability of your Absolutely. foam based weapon. Because foam is hitting that, isn't it? You're trying to protect yourself in the sport that is LARP. Yes, so yes. you want them to run off of each other rather than stick to each other and rip at each other, don't you? Yeah, well, I mean, that's it. So then after that, we basically silicon it. Uh, yes, I use you spray silicon spray like you get on motorcycles and yeah, stuff like that, yeah? yeah? There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, had, I've got that from motorcycle shops. I've got it from Halfords. I also had it from a shop where um, salacious things are sold as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can oddly, get it. Oddly, that, that is, that is um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there we go. And, and how much, do, taking into account all that material craft time, how much does one of these cost? Anything between 80 to 100. I, I mean, you could not get a tennis racket. Oh, probably for that, not, no. you know, with the same amount of craft and art no, in it, could no. you? You know but what I mean? At the same time, like with tennis, you probably only need to buy one tennis racket. That's not, true. Not an entire armory of tennis rackets. That's you <laughs> yes, I've been to houses where there are walls full of these things. What do armies march on? They don't arch on their stomach. They march on fudge, oh, yeah. don't they? This is fudge yet. I've had stuff from here too. This is the wonderful Henry. How are you? Doing, How are you? <laughs> Tell me about your fudge. What is what? What's it? It's all, all handmade. All handmade. Ridiculous number of flavours. Oh. Uh, we have we have vegan fudges. We have Ve chocolate fudges. We have fruity fudges. We Not have just handmade, but human made. Human made. No, no absolutely. <laughs> the, 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 that's right. There was a scandal in other fudge making uh, thing where where orcs were being exploited. But there's no orc exploitation here, none at all. Absolutely not. Perish the fort. Perish orc the fort. <laughs> and I actually have had a big box with a big selection of this stuff oh, and yes, I loved it. So uh, marvellous. There we go. Fudge it. As I noted with the fudge, um, a, uh, an army doesn't march on its stomach. I did say fudge, but no, it also marches on its jerky, yes. doesn't oh, it? Yes. It definitely does. So this is jerky, but it's not normal jerky. Nah. You've got different kinds, haven't you? Oh, yes, yeah. we do. Beef, horse, kangaroo, venison, wood pigeon, salmon, wild boar, rabbit. The sign is just still out there. There we go. Good you even do, you do vegetarian ones vegan as well, jerky. don't you? Or you do fruity ones too, don't you? I've been you? making vegan jerky for 12 years. I was way ahead of the curve. People just laughed for the first five years You're, and now well, they play it like mad. The vegan side. You see, it, it is a different side. Yeah. <laughs> But it's fine to say, I've actually had some of their vegan stuff before, so uh, I, can, I can attest to its yumminess. The cavalry is also very important, uh, uh, components of military exercise. Here we have um, a Cerberan battle dog. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> Go. Look at that. Presentation of a Danax there, it looks to me. Oh, it's also got that right pull. It's so good. Superb. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate no it. Look at the colour there. I hope it comes across on the camera. That's unbelievable. Ooh. So I like I like a guard, being a bit of a fop. I like somebody with a good guard there. Not someone hitting me on the knuckles. <laughs> I'm not very fast. Beautiful. See, mo mo most weapons are, are straight. It's obviously the the, the, the cores that they use, are, are fiberglass or, or carbon fiber. And then sometimes you see these bent ones. Glass or oh, glass fiber. Thank 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 you very much. Thank you. For, there we go. Well well corrected there. Glass fiber. And um, yeah, some of them are. Some of them are bent. How do you how do you bend them? Is it a trade is it a trade secret? We're not to know. We mostly just tell people it's magic. Magic. There we go. No, I I'll accept I'll accept that, sir. I'll accept that. Excellent. Well I'm I'm certainly not gonna get glowered at. I'm not brave enough for a glower. But uh, what I notice here is we've got a lot of we've got a lot of weapons that are uh, practical. We've got some artistic pieces as well, is how I'd describe them. We've got this uh, 
Look at these. Oh, I can again. You can focus. But look at that. I don't know if I'd want to hit anyone with that. I think I'd just walk around feeling superior. If you're a coward like me, it's very important to have something really long to keep people away from you. Yes, the artistic expression, not just on the weapons, it's on your own face. So what's that made of? Look at that, whole suit's armour. That is plastic. Stunning. And also winners of the nicest smelling hand sanitizer award. I, I say lemony. Here we have very important health and safety. Six feet apart. Six feet apart. There we go. If I go too close, I get told. Look. Ah! There you go. Now, there's some obviously beautiful people around, of course, but practicality is the key. And I admit, I also have a fan. And how useful are they on the field? Brilliant. They are <laughs> actually very good, aren't they? I've, uh, you've got a pouch written it. Oh, you've even got a holster. I think it's more important than going for your knife. I really do. Now, what do I say? I can't say kawaii because that doesn't even cover it, do I? I can't say aishitiru because that would mean I'd want to marry it. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe. That is beautiful. Superb. I mean, you don't, get, you don't get to go to the club like that, really, do you? Well, actually, I do know some people that would. Wonderful. Treasure not. Is that a Cthulhu-esque? Wow. Superb. And that one looks like he wants to try and cure the plague. I've not seen anything like this. What, you were just telling me a thing? What was that? It was, this is, this is your, your... This is our very first track Wow. Stand. So it's going really well. We're really enjoying it. Really, it's under all the pressure that we're under at the moment and people are still turning out and being interested, yes, yeah? Yes, our first stand was supposed to be last year. Oh, um, of course. In the summer, mm -hmm. but everything went to hell, so... But it just gave us another year to get extra prepared. And, and, and look at, look at the beautiful result, definitely. We're talking of fans, look at that, and they are an absolute survival necessity, I would say, uh, a fan in the in the um, in the field when the sun's out. Yes, indeed. Look at this, because it's not just about the armour and the weapons and stuff. Sometimes it's just about looking amazing, and here's where you do look at it. So ears that just clip into your hair with Look double clips. Oh, so almost like yeah, a hair extension popular. almost, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they just right in. And then Superb. the feather ear cuffs are enormously popular. And they either dangle down, they just hook around your ear, very easy to wear, they dangle wow. down. Or these ones go back like a wing. Look at that. And I custom make them in any It's form, amazing, because you know? people play different <laughs> things, don't they? They can play Absolutely different indeed. creatures and stuff, totally. and, and they can yeah so, represent that all. And if you're playing Faye, you know, yeah. I've well, sometimes called the Faye Superstore, all that stuff. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. And of course there's yeah. stuff with the dapper chaps and ladies there Absolutely, as well. Absolutely, yeah. Lots of nice, it's... good quality hats and some cheaper hats. I, can, I know people who like that just come along and they, um, oh, there we go, safety yeah. being assured there by the <laughs> staff. <laughs> Brilliant. So I will also say that the beast kid masks up here, I custom make any animal under the sun. Oh, so you can um, literally say, I want to be a rat person. You can say anything. Yeah. And they can be worn as masks, but they can be worn as headpieces the... as well. So when the heat hits so, you. Yeah. Absolutely. Need a Push drink. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, uh, and matching tails for any of them as well. Brilliant. So this is foot off. Could you could you operate I made it? it. I Oper did indeed. You made this I yourself. Made this is a foot this, operated yeah. hand sanitizer. Yes. You don't even have to touch it. <laughs> but it needs a big arrow, not everybody works it. No, out. no, it's great. No, I did I didn't, being a fool. <sighs> oh dude, show me your stuff. Oh, you see, yes, you see, because it's not all just fantasy as well. No. I actually crew it to Ryan Sphere, which is futuristic yes, used I've Nerf guns. Yep. Got sheep. Yeah. Got sheep. Yeah. Very sheep. important to have sheep things. Fake fur. Look at that. Brilliant. That's ultra leather, which is fake leather. Very high quality fake leather. Oh, wonderful. Normal leather in various sizes and shapes. 
basically my staple. Very strong in LARP as well. Very yes. yeah, very very cool games. And we have various steampunk stroke LARPing costumes. Superb. And then random LARP stroke. Stuff. Well, and they say I could go to a club in there, in this. And a lot of the, well, there are clubs where you can just go and be steampunk anyway, yes. aren't there? It's an absolute kind of lifestyle, yes. wonderful stuff. And uh, you know, I mean, I I have a a, a chalice very much yeah. like that, and I can often be found in the local park with wine at night. The police haven't stopped me yet. Maybe they've just not found me. I'm not sure. <laughs> wonderful stuff. And how has it been coming back? Fantastic. Is it being oh, brilliant, it's brilliant, awesome. lovely? It really has been awesome. What's amazing about this lifestyle and this uh, this sport is uh, I, can, I can have the I can have the stuff that's made for me, can't I? Or I can get involved in making things myself. Yes. You know, and I can get something there, and that'll give me an idea to make something in the future. And you'd be surprised at what you can achieve, actually, can't you? Why wouldn't you? Wow! Tell me what this is. So I'm doing Shadow Run. Shadow Run, excellent. Uh, which is a cyberpunk airsoft lot. This is my, um, what is he? He's an engineer, but also a um, pest control. <laughs> I've got also like a cat carrier. And yeah, it's a cyberpunk airsoft lot Superb. set in the future with elves and orcs and stuff. Yeah, exactly. It's like machine guns and ogres, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Exactly that. And you've got also, a backpack on um, as one of you? Um, my backpack. Look at that. Yeah, just my engineering backpack. Of course, of course, one needs that. Yeah, yeah. And I'll also be wearing it for Orion Sphere. Well, I play Ryan. I actually crew on Orion Sphere, so I can so enjoy this that greatly. Is my kit for that. Uh, well, have a big alien face. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, and just play an engineer was brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. So there you go. It's not just about uh, knights in shining armor. It's about futuristic knights in shining armor. Yeah, Dust shop. Yeah. Yeah. See, now, some of it's about the, uh, you know, sterling with the Queen's head upon it. Yes, they are. Cool. But some of it's about, you know, barter and trade too. And that's what made you guys, hey, all right, lovely. That's what made you guys famous, isn't it? Cheers. You took a different approach to all this, didn't you? We did. Tell me how you started. We started this as an in-character thing. Yep. Yeah to make some in-character money absolutely and then it kind of just it grew big. It, it, it didn't just it blew up didn't yeah. it it was right. really people loved it they really oh, latched on they meant that the the one jacket that they had that they've worn in three systems could be traded in here That's it. for something else and they don't get called dead character names they, <laughs> there you go so you can you can bring along bits of kit that you don't use anymore yes get new bits or you can yep. do cash as well yes, or well, you can get in character like, money in, as well i can buy for in character money Absolutely stunning, marvellous stuff. It's so it's just it's, it's just amazing fun. Well, it's, it, it, it shows you about the hobby itself, isn't it? Because sometimes it's about making your own stuff, people making it for you. All, all that. trade is barter. All trade is barter. Quite right Money too. Money is barter. Yeah, stuff is barter. barter. Absolutely. And dash shop is barter too. And we've also got there. We've got yourself on you. You're making things. Yes. An, an artist. An artist. I tell you. I heard bow quivers mentioned. Well, yes. bow holsters, in fact. Yes, I haven't yeah. got it here, no. but I've made my own bow holster. Wow. Um, I do a lot, everything's handmade. You've made by everything here by your own hand? Yes. Wow. Everything level, that is. <laughs> and let me tell you, watchers, the satchels are worth their weight. And everyone wants their phone on them nowadays, but you can't obviously be using a phone when you're in the middle of. Yeah. Necromaya shear or something, yeah, can you? This is why you have leather oh, phone yeah. cases. A leather phone case. There you go. So you can keep it. You can you you can keep it in character. When I first started, um, I literally, no kidding, bought scraps, and I started off making belts, like literally one and a half inch wide belts, and I bought yep. them off eBay, cheap leather. Brilliant. But then as it got bigger and I got better and I'm doing more and more and more, yeah. I end up buying like almost whole hides. And you, what, you, you mould and shape yeah. them yourself and yes. cut them and, yep. wow. So this is how the leather starts. Um, so it's just plain natural leather. Goodness me, yeah. And then it's dyed, some of it is pre-dyed when I buy it, but yeah. it's then dyed 
Um, some of it is tooled, like this one, um, and then it's hand stitched, riveted, or however much I need to do Absolutely with it. Absolutely amazing. And how much does this stuff kind of go for? Um, with all the effort put into making it? Prices, well, simple things like bell six enders, yeah. which are really, really handy, especially for me during lockdown. Um, Indeed. <laughs> yes, same here. Yes, I must admit. Um, they start at six pounds, but then I've got trinkets, bracelets, tankard holders, triangle coin pouches, uh, ten pounds. Yeah. The squidge pouches, I like to call them. Um, oh, of course, yes, yes, uh, absolutely. Thirty pounds. Perfect. Perfect. Forty pounds. Um, the other weapon rack is uh, 60. Uh, this one's 150, but then this well, cause, yeah, because it's a piece it's, of artwork. Yeah, yeah. it's all hand stitched. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And um, I, I wonder if the Gucci ones are. <laughs> yeah. I wonder. And uh, yes, that's that's far cheaper than that, certainly. Well, there are people here, obviously, with uh, you know, this is a. I have to admit, bigger than mine. And um, sometimes we have to accept such things in life. Marvelous stuff. Bring yourselves up. Oh, a bit of squidge, definitely have that. Well, it's been published. They sell the hair, that the halo. Now, it has been known for me occasionally to have a little drinky. Yes, indeed. What's this made of, sir? Uh, it's horn, natural horn. That's literally made of a horn of a beast. It is, yeah. Do we know what beast? Oxen. oxen. An oxen, brilliant. There we go, another, another everyone's, everyone's literally more expert at this than I am. Um, that is amazing. And not an exact measurement, I assume, but that's well over a pint you'll get in oh, there. Oh yeah, the, the smallest ones we do are a pint and a half. There we the go. The biggest ones we do are three pints. Yeah, that's sort of at least a pint more. and a half in there. Yeah. That's I'd probably really... say that's about a two one. And it's actually very practical too. Yeah, They're quite rugged, course, yeah. aren't they? And stuff like very that, strong, you know. Very robust. Absolutely. They'll clip to your belt. Yeah, yeah yes, definitely. Because yeah. that one there, you could just hang that over your belt, yeah. like put it over, like so. Um, obviously, all yeah, resin inlay, so they completely. Ah, oh, okay. So you so. you line it, so yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. When you... When you need to clean it out, it's just hot soapy water. Brilliant. So that's it. I wouldn't have thought of that. So you, you do custom work as well. Now, I've not mentioned this. I've seen so many beautiful yeah. things. So I could ask you to do a thing. Yeah, anything you can think of, we can make it. Okay, so let me think of something silly. I want a, I don't know, I want a rock yeah. that's green. Yeah. I want, yeah, well, what, what, there are green rocks. What are they? Not. A, oh, an emerald? Is it an emerald? Yeah, we can do anything like that. I want an emerald that I can bash people over the head with on a stick, like on a pole. Oh, easy. See, there you go. No problem. Easy. And you could shape it. You put a little rune in it. Yes, we could do that. And any any custom work we do are the same price you'd find in the shop. We don't charge extra for just because. There you go. Absolutely amazing. So, how much? Do, how much do we pay for these for these items? Um, for example, this we do between sixty and seventy pounds. Brilliant. And that's got inside it. What's with the pole? This it's kind of built around a pole, isn't it? It's yeah. It's a hollow because it's nice and nice lovely. And yeah, you can give one, give us a good whack and there you go, so that doesn't hurt too much, that's lovely. Uh, so it's got a pole, it's got all the stuff around it, it takes yeah, hours and hours to, to, to make, and what's yeah. the pole made of in the middle? Carbon fibre. Carbon fibre, that costs a lot less. I, th I think they're very reasonable prices, is, 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 is amazing, because I see them as like a piece of kind of elite sporting equipment, oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> if I wanted a tennis racket made custom, yeah? yeah? I'd be paying a pretty penny, wouldn't yeah. I? Uh, so <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's very reasonable. And then one of your longer pieces, um, just for example, this pole arm over here. Oh yes, lovely. Um, look at that. For something like that, we charge 120. Perfect. Again, again look at that's the work that's gone into it. Just shy of seven foot. Wow, absolutely stunning. There you go. So expensive hobby, but far less than a PlayStation. Yes. I would assert. <laughs> Well, far far less than some PlayStation games, in yes. fact. So you can get you can get games for 70, 80 quid now, can't you? <laughs> Wonderful. We're near the end of the day now. Are we ready? Are we ready for home yet? Just a little. A little bit. bit. How's it? How's it been though? Because you're still smiling. Oh, it's been brilliant. It, it's really nice to be out and seeing people. I did, it's been you know challenging time. Uh, that, does, does, does that need saying? I'm not sure. It's been really hard for people, but. People have made the effort this weekend, haven't they? If you look at all the people that have come along with their trading things, and people are coming along and spending their money and being supportive. Wonderful. And what do you do in here? I see, I, I, I see clothes, but I also see people working on themselves with, uh, with, with, with trinkets and making themselves beautiful. Yeah, I do historical and fantasy clothing. Wonderful. And accessories. Excellent. So I, I know, and we were just we have a, we had a quick a very before we I started filming we had a very quick horological horological conversation like watches. Yeah. You know a bit about history, I'm guessing. Yeah, so yes. I'm mostly a reenactment trader. I do ah, as well. brilliant. So I'm 
the reenactment market next week. Wonderful. And do you know, I think that's a big thing about the hobby for me is that people can do what they want. So some people will wear kind of a light armor made of plastic, but some people will, yeah, they'll 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 they'll, they'll, they'll heat the metal and they'll 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 yeah. pummel it out yeah. and they'll twice fry it and and, and it's it's all historically accurate. Yeah. And you can do what you like, can't you? Yeah, you can yeah? find a group for anything. Absolutely. It's really cool. So what do we what do we have in this weekend? Oh, everything. Everything. Oh, everything. Sh show me your most historically accurate thing. Or is that just a stupid oh. question? Because it all is, isn't it? There's all sorts. I've got arming jacks that are in that one. Wow. This one's based on the one that was worn by Charles de Bois. Wow. So an arming jack is something I would wear in armor. in order to the armor to actually work in a way yeah. wouldn't it so i can carry it you put points on here so bits of leather wow. that you then tie your armor to that's amazing oh really wow so it wouldn't move when it's on me and stuff like that yeah it stays in place but it moves with you yes anyone that's worn chain will tell you it's it's a uh, i want to put it it's a skill to actually wear isn't it yeah. it's yeah it's uh, to wear properly but once you do it properly with a with a with a, with a proper jacket or something actually yeah. becomes i wouldn't say easy but it doesn't feel as heavy. No, no. I've got an armour once that was nearly the same weight as me, but once you've got it all on, it doesn't feel that heavy. Cause Wonderful. It's rather than holding it up. Super. It's, it's just amazing to meet people that actually know what they're talking about, unlike me. I've been doing this a while. You, how, so how long have you been in the trade? Um, I've been officially trading for seven years now. Wow. Have, but I've been making costume since I was 15, so... So this Rather isn't this is. isn't just a business. This is a real vocation. Yeah. yeah, you do this full time, and yeah. Yes. I think a lot of people do now. I think it yeah. was a hobby when people started, wasn't it? But it's a real. Well, in reenactment, there's always been costume traders. Yes. There's always been people who did it as a job, but I don't know. It seems to be in art. There's more, and in reenactment, there's less. There's not so many new people going through reenactment. So here we are, deadly archer in action. Super. So you see, actually, you know, it's like shooting a water pistol, but far more fun. How far did that go? It's about 30 foot away, would you say? Take us through what these arrows do. Okay, what are so, they made of? So uh, the, the arrow, the, the arrows are made, design uh, criteria is to be as safe as possible when they're hit. Absolutely. So uh, the core is a, is a fibre core, which... If it breaks, it doesn't it doesn't splinter, so there won't be any sharp edges. It Excellent. just turns into uh, uh, lots of little strands. Absolutely. And uh, there are glow in the light, glow in the dark shaft uh, flights. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Um, they only glow for a little while after yeah. it goes dark. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're adventuring and it goes dark, and of course. You adventuring. Yeah. You can hunt around and find. So you can actually shine arrows. your torch on the floor, can't you? If you've lost one, and it might pick up some of the well, light. It will yeah. actually glow. It's phosphorescent. Oh, is it? Are very complex. They're amazing, aren't they? The heads. Yes. In the Excellent. As you might imagine, uh, first of all, there is um, uh, an outward-facing cone of plastic, quite hard plastic, mm -hmm. uh, which spreads the impact across the arrowhead. And then there are two layers of foam, uh, quite a firm layer of foam, mm -hmm. which absorbs a lot of the a lot of the impact. And then uh, a lighter piece of foam, which uh, absorbs. The initial impact. Absolutely, yes, it stops the energy getting to you, doesn't it? It'll exactly. squish when it hits you, so yeah. It squishes when it hits you a little bit, and then it squishes more if it's hit you really hard, and then if it's hit you really, really, really hard, which is very unlikely, happen, but it does, you know, it could happen. Then or you will just get, a, you will just be impacted by um, the plastic core, yeah. and there won't be any risk of anything penetrating. And there's something about the radius, isn't there? It's so big that it wouldn't probably go into your eye socket, is that oh, right? Absolutely, yes. So there are um, there are a number of designs, uh, but the, the one that we've come up with as the, as the safest is this flat. Yes. I was going to go get his arrow back, but I will wait until, he's, until the he's radius is safe before I do that. Although it is safe, because just I've just brought it out, he's And the bows, I was, as someone was explaining to me earlier, about... Um, what, 28, 25, 28 pounds are they? Yeah, so this is a 28 pound There you go. Is that correct? That's it. 20, 28, 6 pounds on a 25, 25 inches. There you go. And you don't pull it all the way back, do you? But uh, if you did pull it back, so that, that would still be safe to use, wouldn't it? That's uh, black. A colour you see quite often, actually. Oh my goodness, I can't even lift that with one hand, that's so heavy. 
because that is metal. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. No, no, not actually. Goodness me, I can barely hold that up with one heart with one arm. Oh. So that was a recurve bow, I think. We've got a lot, uh, kind of more long bow style there. So different styles still can be represented. I've even seen crossbows and people using slings as well, I've seen. LARPing is in the eye of the beholder. So on, 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 the, vein of, uh, on the vein of historical accuracy um, and, and crafting, the, uh, there we go, yarns, etc. adorning your costume. And we were talking about the arming jacket just over there. I think this is kind of an arming hood. I'm sure someone out there in the comments will be telling me what this is actually called because it'll have a proper name, I'm sure. And that headdress, is that a coif, is that called? I'll probably ask the person that owns it in a second. I'd say that would be very taxing against your head if you didn't have anything underneath to protect yourself. Goodness. What are these called? Coifs. They are co I was right. Coifs. I was right on a thing. Now, Coifs. that doesn't make me right on many things. I'm not putting so myself both, as an expert. The armour and, and these and the padded and unpadded are all called coifs. It's related to the word coiffure. So oh, so one coiffures one's hair? Yeah. I said, oh! Now, this is why you come along to these things, because you <laughs> learn stuff. Uh, 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 thank you for that. Uh, and yes, wearing the chain against your head would be injurious, wouldn't yeah, it? It would so be very you, difficult. Well, you get your hair caught in it. Absolutely. So and the lady over there was talking about the arming jacket that she's yeah. made, and yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the the head equivalent. Yeah. And once your head's gone in battle, that's it, isn't it? That's the. Uh, well, yeah, it's got to be the first bit you protect, your head, is it? Your head is quite well protected by your skull. Okay. Yeah. Of course. So actually, if you look at helmet design, I haven't got any helmets. Here. No. 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 Quite. You've actually got some vulnerable parts on your head. You've got your temple. Excellent. Do you mind me uh, looking at you with the camera? No, not at Excellent. All. There we go. So yeah. You've got your temple here, which is a soft spot behind your eye. If you see a skull, yeah, it, there's a hollow. Yes. In the eye socket. Yes. That's your temple. Yeah. If you get knocked there, that's going to be. That could crack your skull, could it? Or really serious. Give blow. you a concussion. Break yeah. Your eye socket. It'll do some <sighs> real damage. Right. So that soft bit there. That's why a cycle helmet is thick around here. Indeed. On top, because that's what you're going to. I do cycle myself, and you're right. absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. So, the other places are not so much around the skull, but your carotid artery in your throat. Yeah. That carries your blood to your brain. Of course. And, and back again. Ah, oh, because this this comes yeah. down quite far, right doesn't it? Here. Yeah. And also the back of your head here. Yes. The soft bits. Yes. Right. So, and this almost, it comes down over the shoulders. Here. It's like long hair almost, yeah. isn't it? So this will come over your head. So the idea is you're protecting here and a good helmet will protect here. Uh -huh. It'll also protect your throat. Ah, the soft bits so that can actually get injured. Yes. Haven't got a sword. When you're somewhere with a sword. Excellent. The places to come in will be here. Ah. Yeah, so you're not stabbing, you're hacking. So this is not a good blow to try and do. So you're coming in here, uh -huh. here, and, and uh, you know, try to get... It's like an arms race, isn't it? So I'm so, trying to hit you there, so and you're trying to armour that bit, yeah? yeah? So, but also trying to keep mobility. So it's no good having a sort of tin can of over course. your head if I can't see someone yeah. coming behind me. So I've got to if have someone just come throttle me, couldn't they? Yeah. So all of those designs come Wonderful. into that. And then once upon a time before computers, we had this ancient art. Oh, yeah. It was called writing. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. It's a pleasure to use something like this, to be honest. Monsters Menagerie. Hmm. That 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 sounds like a diverse thing. Is it going to be diverse? Oh my goodness! Yes. Look at all of that. What are we doing here, sir? Uh, so I see mushrooms. Yeah, there, there are a few mushrooms, including <laughs> ones with faces. Faces. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. 
Can you uh, make these yourself, do you? Yeah, these, this is what I've done for lockdown. Uh, this is my <laughs> first event in the field actually trading. This is, this, this is so. catchy sane as well as being marvellous. Sane. <laughs> Very yes, I, I feel it you. It started sane yes. and it gradually gets weirder as lockdown <laughs> gets further along. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, and how has it been coming back to the to the field, kind it's of? It's just great to be It's amazing, isn't it? People. Like, it's yeah. so many people that I've not seen in like a year and a half. Yeah. Or longer. Absolutely. And it's I don't know if it's the same or different. I'm not really looking at it like that, but it's good. It's just good, yeah, isn't it's it? It's just nice to see people and be out of the house. <laughs> Absolutely. I fed up of being locked in my garage. Absolutely. With a, totally. <laughs> with a belt sander and some foam. <laughs> So is that how you do these things? Yeah, a lot of it. So how do you, uh, how do you shape the foam? Uh, lots of hand carving, yeah. uh, layering up on some things, yeah. and belt sander to smooth it. Amazing, amazing. Here's a, here's a trader I've used for many, many years. I actually took a couple of years off, come back and he goes, oh, is it throwing knives you want, sir? He knew me immediately. Bless him. There we are. There we go. Look at that. And here is where, this is one of the first places I go for leather work when I, when I hit the field. Um, I mean, look at it. How long have you been doing this, sir? Um, in excess of 25 years. 25 years, years. Yes. it's amazing. And you can see it, you know. How's it changed, do you think? Um, it, it's, it's, it's evolved from uh, when we used to make armour. It was, how can, how can we get the most armour value for the least amount of money? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and now people, people want decorated stuff. That it's Absolutely. not the sort of minimum to get away with it. Yes. I want to look good. Aha. Uh -huh. So yeah, so at first it was about the game and how yeah. we, can we win with what we've got? Yes. And now it's more, I want to look amazing. Yes. I agree. I totally agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. And there's people making it on their own as well, aren't they? I'm not talented enough, so I'm actually very lucky that you're here. Oh, yeah, but yeah, uh, there's, you, there's loads of people turning out some fantastic stuff. Absolutely, but you'd be hard pressed to be able to make that at home, for example. Look at that. I've got a couple of these at home. <laughs> and the, the ever, ever useful satchels. This is yeah. half the kit you buy, hasn't got pockets, you see. If you've got a magic scroll, where do you, you know, you don't think about this in the movies, do you? You just, you know, just get this magical item out in a movie or a, a role-playing game that you're playing, but actually, when you're on the field, you have to work out where you're gonna put your scrolls. Yeah, we, we put a lot of thought into making things that people would need in the game. Absolutely. We, we played for a long time. Absolutely. So it's, oh, we need to be able to do this. That's right, it. let's build something that exactly. we can do. Exactly, you know, then the you know, systems have got different rules, haven't they? I need to do this thing within so many seconds to make it work. So yeah. you have to be able to get to it and get it out and use it, don't you? So if somebody comes along and says, mm. I'd like, I'd like, this picture embossed yeah no problem wow so this is so this is 3d printed so which right, which no. element of it is 3d printed that, the, the embossing tool oh so the tool that you press you, into it right so this has been stamped yeah and the thing that you made the stamp out of you 3d printed yes wow so i could send you a file with something i wanted printing you could give me an, a bit of advice of going well that won't work or that will work yep and you could print out my own sigil or, or, yep. or your pattern. Own, your own embossing stamp. Wow. You see technology. Yes. And, and that's something you've had to develop while all the, all, all the lockdowns happen and stuff yep. like that. Wow. We love the colours. We've got, we've got our expert from next door who loves your pretty colours too. Did you want us to strike a pose? Posing is very important in LARPing. Very important. I nearly missed that. that was, so we've got the gun show as well. <laughs> It's not just swords, there's a gun show in town. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that on YouTube, but I've done it now. My goodness me, will I ever recover? You see? <sighs> so as I say, part of it is about buying stuff that you wear and part of it's about the making of the stuff and a lot of people with a lot of skill. And I have known people that have started out on places like this getting material and then they've gone on and made businesses out of it. Absolutely stunning. Then we've got the weapons. Now I need your expertise. I am no armourer, sir. No armourer. How would I make, well, how would you make, because I wouldn't be able to do it. How would you make a LARPing sword? Right, so we've got the traditional ones, yep. which is stuff over here. Yeah. 
I will see. Uh, they're all hand carved. Hand carved, right? Hand carved. And what's in the middle of them? What makes there's them? A, there's a hard uh, glass fibre rod. Brilliant. And then you've got foam, which is very similar to camping mat foam, really? shaped, cut, sanded, and then you have uh, latex rubber sprayed on top, right. painted, painted, yeah. And then As, is the paint in the rubber? Do you mix some it? Some is in the rubber, some's on top. Brilliant. Oh, right. Okay. So you put detail. Wow. Pad. But but we have a new one. You've got uh, you've got a new one. We have a new one. A different method of sword making that has been invented in these modern times over lockdown wow so the blades are traditional same as the ones before yes. so that's the foam with the, the rod in the middle and the latex but these are cast rubber handles i sculpt oh, the originals may I? yes sculpt the originals oh, wow. mold it, and the deep, you got a lot more and that one there is from a sword in a museum in oslo and um, most of the rest are my own designs. <laughs> As I've said before, uh, some of it's a, a historical observation, some of, it. and some of it's an artistic expression, some is, yes. and some is a mixture of both. Yes, yes. Absolutely, so in, in the best way. That the best one's way. a mixture of both because you've got those ones are off the original sword, yep. and then the rest I have made up to match because ah, the handles made and, wood and I good. imagine in history that would have totally been done. There would have been things that all sh all swords would have shared, and yeah. I'd have been very rich, and I'd have said, "No, I want this crest on the pommel, rich. please." You'd have to be rich to have a sword anyway. You, very good. Very good point. Yeah. Yes, a lot of metal in that. Amazing. Superb. Absolutely. So how long would one of these take to put together? Bit, bit on a ballpark, obviously it's an unfair question for each individual one. I don't only do them in batches, so it's really hard to say how much one ah, okay. these new ones are a lot quicker. Excellent. I do about three in the time it takes me to do the old Wow, ones. so how long could you do how how long would it take to do three of them? Approximately. Approximately, yeah. don't know, two, three hours maybe. There we go, there we go, absolutely. So so considerable art and effort yes. goes into it. Uh, and and hand handmade. These are all, so the originals are handmade and the, I make the moulds mm -hmm. by hand. Mm -hmm. but yes, they're injected in, yeah. rubber injected absolutely. in. So absolutely. Still handmade. Still and, hand and materials I might find in a pair of sporting trainers. Similar, yeah, yes. or, or, or and also processes that might be used in um, how to put it sporting equipment like tennis rackets, S hockey sticks, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. so so actually, I would say these are quite good value. Yes, I think you get a good tennis racket, you could be paying <laughs> a lot of money for that, couldn't you? And I would, I would assert yeah. every bit of a craft of making a good tennis racket has gone into one of these. Thank you, that's how that's I would put nice. it. Thank yeah, because it's a piece of sporting equipment and it it's got, to, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I look at them. Yeah, yeah it is because and it's got to take, in, in, yeah, exactly, and it's impactful like a tennis yes, racket it takes yeah, yeah. impact because you're fighting with other people you do, yeah there's, there's lots of cloth and sort of absolutely on, on that end because that's the rod ends about a couple of inches down yeah. and you've got to have a lot of reinforcement because there's tears of course yes, of course and they and that's it and they stay together for many years they can do you know i've been doing this for over 20 years and i've got people who've got stuff that's 15 plus years there you old. go absolutely free vaking that's from Vendel culture, and that one is a large version of a little of a metal plate on a helmet. Oh, yeah. wow! And you see, these are the respect of history mm -hmm. with the artistic expression and and and, and license that that's legitimate because that's not been on a plate. We want to we yeah. want to look at it so wherever. It's a yeah, stamped metal plate that's then put on the helmet. But yeah. obviously, I've coloured. And you've that made it up. bigger and coloured yeah, it. Colored it up, yeah. So we we have something that's an artistic expression, but also very respectful of the original material. That's amazing. And then when you have a sword, of course, you've got to have something to put it in. Yes. Haven't really covered that lot today. So there we go, look at these scabbards. Oh, look at that scabbard. Look at that scabbard. There we go. That's the scabbard. How much is that scabbard? Uh, so there, that, something like that's always one off because yeah. you're, you know, I'll send you designs. So you've got the bronze fittings yeah. as well. <laughs> that's literally, you, that's bronze. That yeah. is bronze, that's cast bronze, that's cast bronze on the spreader. So you're looking four to 500, but it will be completely beautiful. Absolutely Hand -carved beautiful. Ash, um, grips and other bits and pieces. As I say, you know, PlayStation, a couple of games. <laughs> 500 quid or you get this that you yeah. can have for 20 years yes. and still be proud of it so i you know that's a lot of money yes yeah. but it's a worthy spend i would and assert it is a one-off there will it never is. be one -off. oh so if i bought something like that off you yes. you would be your promise would be that's yes. yours mate yes no it one else is having one like that that's it yeah. wow that's part of the process it's a piece of art yes. hard working traders there packing up we'll see everyone on the field i hope everyone's safe take care everyone
if, if I give you a treat, you'll play much more tennis. Oh, really? Oh, wonderful. Yes. Lobcon is guarded, guarded by Cerberus himself. Look. <gasps> Look at that. Well, now she won't pay attention to you because you've given her the Look treat. Look at that. Barley, sit. <gasps> sit, Barley. Barley. She might not sit on the gravel. Oh, no, she's Good girl. Look at that. Look at that, Barley. Beautiful. Go, no, face that way. No, no, no. 